hi motherhood lovers welcome back to my channel welcome back to another interesting video <laughs> so guys in today's video i am going to be sharing with you it's going to be like a spicy video interesting informative educative and motivation video i am going to be sharing with you why it takes me five years to start working in germany what i have been doing during those five years and why i decided to work in germany so without wasting your time let's just dive into the video yeah so in 2015 towards the ending of 2015 i came to germany yeah, with a one-year resident permit. Yes, don't ask. Just go and watch my experience in Germany. If you think that video is very, very old and you want me to talk about it again, please write it in the comment section. But if you really want to know my experience in Germany, please go and check it out. The link is going to be in the description so you really understand the full gist. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So 2015, I came to Germany and in 2016, I started a new life that I never imagined. So in 2016, I decided to base here in Germany and I started all over again. Yeah, I know to my new subscribers, you might not catch the gist. And this is the reason why I am telling you to go check out my story time so you will really understand me. But don't get it, um, you know, twisted. You're going to find this video interesting. So in 2016, February, I sit for asylum. Yeah. You might say, oh, she came in with a resident permit. Why does she seek for asylum? This is the reason why I said, please go to my story time. We keep it real here. We never hide anything. So I don't want this video to be too lengthy. I don't want it to, to be too long. So, uh, in 2000 and, um, in two, uh, February, 2016, I started life in Germany. February, uh, March, 2016, I met my, Mm -hmm. my isha lollipop <laughs> my isha lollipop my man you know your lowo orimi kabisi the lord on earth yes so hey <laughs> what is she talking about <laughs> take it easy now there are some single ladies god we answer you god we answer you don't worry <laughs> so we met and I got pregnant. Just one touch. Ah, don't say that. Ah, can you say that? Ah, she's poor. Eh, eh. <laughs> Konji. <laughs> Konji was worrying me. Then I'm joking. Anyway, so I got pregnant for Brian, my first son ever. My first child ever. Yes. I got pregnant for Brian in 2016, March. And in 2016, two was the early uh early july i started dutch course so guys Deutschland, this is germany we don't speak english in this country it is dutch they speak dutch in this country so for you to integrate as an immigrant you need to learn the language this is very 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 important very very important i am telling you the truth so I was fully interested in learning the language and I got pregnant for Brian. I started to go to Dutch course and I started with our eyes. Although from Nigeria, I did our eyes in the Gote Institution VI. If you're familiar with that, drop it in the comment section. <laughs> so I did my eyes in Gote, but when I came to Deutschland, I had to start all over again because really, when you get it here, you get the real gist. So I was pregnant with Brian and I started to go to Dutch calls. And uh, eyes is three months plus, and then I finish um, my eyes and... It was close to my delivery. Yeah. I started the R eyes July towards the ending of July, August, September, October, November, uh, October, November, 
okay it was it was close to my delivery yeah i started sorry guys i started the dodge course um july ending and i gave back to brian december 31st so when i was eight months pregnant i had to stop our eyes because it was not every day dodge course it was two times in a week the school our eyes and go give back to my son my superhero which is brian and it takes me another three months to apply just to go complete my dosh course. And then with my little baby, I applied for dosh course for Muta and Kind. That is mother and kind. So I applied and I was granted the opportunity to start dosh course again. This time to Atwai. And then it was 2017 during August again. After three months, I have to apply, I have to wait for reply and everything. August again, you know, it starts, it, it has to start like that. I went back to Dosh course, and this time it was three times in a week. Yeah, three times in a week. Yeah. Okay, I started going to Dosh course with my son brian and when brian was eight months i applied before brian was eight months it was seven months i applied for kindle creepy and then they collected they they, they they accepted brian for kindle creepy so i had to start seriously on dosh cuts i put all my heart in learning dosh language in fact I am better off speaking than writing. I put all my art in speaking this language because if you speak Dosh, there is no way you will not make it here. I know it's, you know, people say, oh, it's not by the language. It is by the language in this country because everything they do is with the language. So, I started going to school. I learned Dutch. I was really, really good and everything. And in 2018, uh, yeah, 2018, yes, 2018, I got pregnant for Melvin. Yeah, I got pregnant for Melvin. Mm -hmm. So how many years don't come out now? Two years plus, don't they come out though? I got pregnant for Melvin and uh i could not finish my art why and when i was pregnant for melvin i had to apply again during my pregnancy i know the story of like what is she talking about please listen very well yeah, because there is a lot in this head that maybe i'm skipping some things but if you get the gist you are intelligent so i apply again during pregnancy why is she always applying dosh course during pregnancy because i i'm just carrying belle I'm just carrying Belle. Brian is older than Melvin with two years back on. And both of them, I got them. The same month I got pregnant with both of them. And the same month I born them. <laughs> so I was just carrying Belle. You understand? So I applied and I started going to Dodge course to be eyes. And during the process of pursuing my Dodge course from outside to be eyes, I had to look for a house. The house the, 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 the asylum house was not comfortable for me, my, for my baby, and I'm expecting a newborn, which is Melvin. Thank you, Lord. And then I was looking for apartments in Bayern, Munich. I didn't find none. It is really hard to get an apartment, to get a flat in Bayern, Munich. If you are in Germany, you can say hello if I am saying the truth. So I decided to come to Bremen to look for and for a flat. And during that time, I had to stop Dosh course again. 2018, I was heavily pregnant. I had to stop Dosh course again during the months of seven months. I came to Bremen during eight months pregnant of Melvin. 
you know so i had to touch stop, uh, stop dosh calls and the period that i stopped dosh calls i stopped dosh calls october the next month no i stopped dosh calls towards the ending of september stroke early october and the next month we we are supposed to write b eins yeah we are supposed to write b eins but because i was expecting my newborn december and i cannot have two children husband and me in one room in the asylum house so we decided to move out of munich to look for a house in bremen i was heavily heavily pregnant so we came to bremen eight months pregnant and december we came to bremen november eight months pregnant december i gave back to melvin so i was nursing melvin nursing melvin and it's only behind just behind just to go to behind three months four months i am done i was nursing melvin and then during the time of nursing melvin i decided to look for a muta and king dosh cause just to get my behinds so thank god i went to write the tests and i passed to uh, 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 uh start dosh cause to get my behinds and then i started muta and king in bremen and to god be the glory i was just in the i was just about i don't know because of this corona because of this corona virus we were stopping starting we were stopping starting we were stopping starting because it takes five months just to finalize everything but because of the corona stuff and everything you know 2020 was too much so we could not uh finish the uh dodge course for b eyes integration course for b eyes um during the uh, uh, uh covid wahala so it was extended it was extended it was extended and then finally we started october yeah yeah we started again october so when i started after the covid wahala i started dosh course integration course for behinds we all arrived we all resumed back to school and i just got a letter from the school and they told me choice we checked all the all the time you have been going to school from nigeria dosh course integration course we check it is more than the hours the days that you're supposed to be out of behinds course and they ask do you want to write behinds or you want to wait because there is no point going further you have already i think before you can achieve Dosh in Germany, I think you only need 2,700 ways to be for the, the, the law said if you can, if you can uh, know 2,700, if I'm not mistaken, please, it's a lot in my head. If you can know 2,700 ways and get your behinds, it is okay for a start, but you want to further more, no problem. Behinds is, is something that integrates you into uh, speaking Dutch, it qualifies you and it's extend it's an extend that you can speak Dutch. yeah a lot of people go get behind they cannot even speak Dutch. and without speaking you cannot achieve your behind certificate yeah it keeps organic you cannot achieve it so they told me that i have to write uh, it's been the hours is extra for me the days the month is extra that I have been going for integration course. So I accepted it with full confidence and believe in myself and start to make research, start to write. And um, November, they sent me, November 2020, they sent me a letter that December 11th, I will write my behinds with other people, not with the people that I'm in the same course way. So this is why it took me so much time 
to uh, get to be eyes. And then let's go further to why it took. Yeah, now you already know what I've been doing now. Getting Bele going to Dutch course integration course. Getting Bele going to Dutch course integrator integration course. So my husband was not officially living with us at then. So if you've been following me for a very long time, you will know that my husband just came of recent, I think three months, to start living with us. And in Deutschland, I'm going to be exposing some secret which the people living in Germany knows about it. In Deutschland, if you stay single with children, you earn more money. You get a lot of benefit. You get a lot of help. You earn more money. So when my husband was still in Munich, the government pays my rent. They give me money. They take care of my children and everything. So when my man came to stay here and I had to mend him, that's register him, we stay in the same uh, resident. People living in Nigeria, this is strange to you, I know, but this is a woman country. Yeah, this is a woman country. Um, this is going to be a another video. If you want to know what I say, this is a woman country, please say it. So I officially welcome my husband to come live with us and I made the paperwork rich now so i make it so official we now are partner living in the same apartment so officially he will be paying the rent taking care of me the only benefit i will be getting from the government is what they call kinder gate and i have two children if you live in germany kinder gate for two children is you know, I'm not going to say this, right? Really? Really? <laughs> so, Kindergate is very compulsory. But the rent, water bills, everything, my husband start working this January. Because he had to stop working in Munich and come to uh, Bremen. He st uh, stayed during the Christmas period. We enjoy together. And we, he applied for job during the holidays. And he got to this January. So we sat down and I talked to him. I said, okay, we are living together right now. Officially, you've start working. Because it's not a lazy man. <laughs> a real man work. Yes. And pay bills. So he started working. And I looked at him. The responsibility will be too much for him. We applied the same time for a job. He got the answer first. And he started working on the 31st of December. Yes, that is when he started working. And then I was waiting for my own answer. But before then, we agreed together that we have to support each other. The kinder get from the children is not enough. If you... The highest job that you can get. My husband's job is not too, the money is not so much. But I'm not going to be exposing it. If you live in Germany, you know what I'm talking about. Please don't pretend this country is hard. It is only when you mark us be done. It's only when you have professional job. That is when you earn good money. And we are getting there. We are just five years in this country. So we are still integrating. Having my behinds doesn't stop me from going further. In future, I am going to go to my B2Y and I am going to make us be done as a nurse. Hallelujah. <laughs> so, and we decided that uh, we're going to be working. And I said, okay, I still have little child. And this is Melvin. Melvin close by 12. Which way are we going to do it? And he said, we have to work it out. And when I applied for the job, I wrote everything about me. And I said, I am looking for three hours to four hours job. And to God be the glory, on a new year day, I got a reply that I got the job. <laughs> yes, so 
I know some people will say, what kind of job? Eh, it's going to be another video. Me, I don't spice things with pizza cola. I spice it with mangue and spill the truth. Yes. So that you will know that abroad is not easy. People back home. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they called me for the job and I got the job. And right now, my man and I can pay for the rent. It can we can pay for the water the eater we can pay for our bills our internet and everything and still have some free money and with the kinder get for the children we can use it also for the children we can also save small money it's not really enough but this is just the best way to start life as an immigrant in integrating in germany it is also very very good to work it gives you that confidence and it gives you respect. It gives you respect. It is also very, very good for couples to live together. I know a lot of benefit with single mother. If you want this video, please write it on the comment section. What benefit is she talking about? But it is also very good. The government appreciate and love couples that stay together. You get a lot of benefit. And if you work less later, posting government letter everything you are on your own you live your best life and the government will not disturb you so it's also built the document yes it's also built the document and in germany it takes time and the years and if you're working you can apply for the original german citizen that is going to be another video if you want to know what it takes to get a german citizenship so that is just why it took me five years to get a job five years why it takes me five years to get a job why i i got this job and what you know and what and what so I don't want to run too much. I have talked too much. And I hope you find this video interesting. Yeah, I hope you find it interesting and a little bit educative and informative. Inform informative, sorry. <laughs> English. Don't disgrace me, social media and international. All right. So I'm going to be seeing you on my next video.